en el Yes, Fintech Showcase is back with its second edition. The term Fintech has been a buzzword in the world of startups for a while now. Yes Bank, through its alliances, relationships and technology approach, has been actively working towards developing innovative solutions along with relevant stakeholders. One such initiative was its business accelerator program, Yes Fintech. Launched last year in January in partnership with T-Hub, Anthill and Let's Talk Payments, It's another initiative by Yes Bank that's always striving to deliver unique and innovative financial solutions to its customers. Last year, 753 startups from 18 different countries applied for the program. 35 startups were selected and got a chance to present their solutions to a panel comprising Yes Bank top management and industry experts. following which 10 startups were seen offering diversified fintech services focus on the business processes uh, what's what makes us unique uh, in the market we are a platform where businesses can come and build their own bots and while doing that they can cater to their current business processes of marketing so they can generate new leads and the whole platform along with the bot helps them do that that's what is unique about us the yes fintech program has really helped us accelerate our collaboration with yes bank benefit from their input and feedback in an early stage and basically take us through a proof of concept in a relatively short time. So it was great to be part of the Yes Fintech program. It really has helped us accelerate the collaboration with Yes Bank, drive through a, a proof of concept in a much shorter time than we would have done without this program and really helped us also understand the local Indian uh, marketplace. Through the program the participating startups received mentorship from industry experts access to Yes Bank's network of over 2 million retail customers 10000 plus small and medium enterprises and over 5000 corporate customers additionally they also received access to funding of up to 1 million dollars through the VC partners most importantly we got a platform to co-create and pilot our products in the real market with active involvement of the security team in one word if i have to describe um it has been a huge learning experience for us um because we we as a small company we're working with a large enterprise and the model is very different to what we would normally do uh, back in the office so in that sense it has been a huge learning experience one um it has been beneficial for both of us uh, to accelerate this forward Yes Bank has taken the ART approach that focuses on leveraging alliances, relationships and technology to take digitized banking to the next level. To achieve this, Yes Bank has partnered with some of the best fintech firms to deliver unique, innovative banking and financial solutions to its customers. Yes Bank organized the second cohort of the Yes Fintech Showcase 2018 in Mumbai which was a one of its kind initiative in partnership with Medici and Price Waterhouse Coopers. This 15 week innovation program provided an opportunity to fintech startups to create innovative solutions for the bank's 2 million plus customers across 20 global markets. These startups were chosen from 500 applicants from over 10 countries. and were presented with an opportunity to showcase their co-created solutions to leading corporate clients of Yes Bank, startup mentors, investors, venture capitalists across verticals like finance, technology, capital markets and more. The Yes Fintech Accelerator program has been extremely useful to us. Uh, we work in India, but uh, we are uh, from uh, Europe originally. so establishing a, a strong network of contacts and learning more about the coming regulations in india has been super useful also something that i found different to other programs is that they were super focused on on getting results and to uh, build something together rather than purely make workshops on how to start a company and so on so it was a great experience i really love it
It's a very good program and uh, it was very useful for us. It's helped us uh, understand better how to tune our technology to local Indian market. Yes, Bank Fintech Accelerator has helped us in uh, many ways, but I would say the uh, most important was for us in our so early in our journey, we actually needed the credibility to be established. We also needed uh, access to real data with real corporates uh, so that we can actually you know, prove the worth of our platform. And uh, both of these objectives really helped us. Uh, the, both, both these objectives were achieved very well in this uh, program. We were given a, a, a problem statement and uh, our platform was uh, ready. So then later on, uh, the bank actually shared the data with us. Uh, first, they shared the data structure and then we built the uh, solution based on simulated uh, data and then later they shared the uh, real data on which we then performed the POC as was uh, required of us. I think, you know, as a fintech startup like ours, um, we are fairly early on our journey and um, you need um, a large bank to support you to test your use cases, to, to co-innovate and work with them to really understand how to address some of these pain points. So we really appreciate the partnership with the yes Fintech team. They have been a great partner throughout the accelerator. Um, they have been a great mentor and they have opened up those very sticky doors for a startup like us to go out and take our solution to the next level. This is a great stage today, a great platform for each of the startups to talk about what they have done, how they integrate with the bank, how did the bank approach the problem, and uh, those specific use cases that were picked up, um, what was the solution which was developed. And I think today, as the startups talk about it, we are very happy to see that uh, you know, coming to fruition. We are just getting started, right? Uh, you know, FinTech as a, you know, as a platform or uh, technology, you know, that is only as good as how it can be adopted, right? So uh, today it's very heartening to see financial institutions, banks, insurance companies actively investing in engaging with startups to leverage technology that you know startups have built uh, with the distribution that large enterprises have, right? So I think that is the great opportunity that uh, you know startups you know have uh, in a, in a time frame like this. So yeah, it's exciting times. The industry is now much more open to experiment with startups, give them the opportunity which was not earlier available, say about a year, year and a half ago. They are open to try out new technologies. Uh, most of the banks have today an innovation cell dealing purely with fintech startups and giving them POCs and workarounds, which then leverages into final contracts. Big startups presented their innovative solutions and their impact to the audience. We are achieving four times the typical conversion rates in banking sector. We are reducing customer support costs by 40 to 60 percent. And this is achieved thanks to our proprietary artificial intelligence uh, platform. We have unique features like personalizing user experience on the fly, together with improvements over existing technology like uh, being able to talk to your phone with natural language and getting meaningful answers and smart recommendations. What uniquely different thing that we have achieved through this uh, engagement with Centimer is we have integrated with our API stack. So Yes Bank has a full stack APIs. So on real-time basis, uh, based on the NLP uh, language that a user uses, the bot understands it and it calls the appropriate API. Using API integrations, Binesis helps bank to get the most value out of the borrower's data. We provide to the bank API-based launch application platform and uh, using it, uh, bank will receive a lot of sources of data, traditional sources of data and non-traditional sources of data. And also, bank will have the opportunity to send this data for analysis with multiple scoring systems working simultaneously. More than that, our screening technology on uh, red flags uh, will help bank to know about any trouble with uh, borrowers. For the banks, for example, if three fintechs approaches us working in, let's say, consumer lending space and says that we have a credit algorithm which can crunch so, uh, all the alternate data which is available, how can you decide? Obviously, you have tested each individual ones. So what we are trying to do here is we are creating a platform through YBL and Benesis architecture in which we can 
in real time, we can share the customer data which comes from our customer touch points. It can be our channel partners, our digital marketplaces, or even from the fintech partners. And we are feeding the single customer profile information to all our fintech partners in the platform. And each of us will give us a credit report based on their own credit algorithm. Pingle Technologies is uh, pioneering a new, uh, new age technology. We're building a, a platform, a data analytics platform for democratizing analytics for enterprise users like many of you in the audience, to access your data and gain quick insights from your data uh, using a natural language interface, almost like you use uh, Google on a day-to-day -day basis. What has Pingle done to improve this situation? What is our solution? So we call our platform as Finalytics. Our platform is a compact platform. It brings together the, the big data with the, the, the ETL tools and, and the analytics and visualization layers all together into the same platform. We have tried to actually make uh, analytics as simple as all of us know the Google is. So you have all been using Google to doing uh, searches on, on uh, you know, searching your answers uh, on public data. Similarly, what we have done is you can imagine us as a Google for your enterprise data where you can do the search and furthermore, you can also run on-demand analytics queries uh, using uh, Finalytics on your enterprise data. At Karza, what we try to build here is the most comprehensive digital due diligence platform uh, that is built upon uh, almost a decades of experience coming in from investigation of loan frauds, security market frauds, diversion of funds, and Havala transactions. Uh, in order to combat one of the biggest or the largest problems that the banking industry is facing today, uh, which is of the mounting NPAs. The underlying, when we dug deep into this, the underlying problem came about as the uh, traditional manual way of processing the information sets and the lack of knowledge or availability of digitized information sets in order to quickly authenticate and uh, get a comprehensive picture about the counterparty that they are dealing with. And the core to this is the entire Digital India initiative taken by the government of India. And one of the largest initiatives today is the GSTN. Uh, which now enables banks and NBFCs to information of over 8 million non-corporate entities. These are sole proprietorships and partnership firms uh, in India where traditionally digital information was not available is now available for banks to take much intel better intelligence decisions. Two years ago, we started File, and uh, today we've built a product that is loved by thousands and thousands of users across the world. Uh, we have a large number of corporates, mid to large enterprises using our product. People have moved from spreadsheets to mobile phones uh, in the last sort of 25 years, but the fundamental problem remains that employees have to do something about it until now, which is where File comes in, right? So uh, we feel it's a global problem, you know, with slow incumbents and a massive opportunity to create a new standard so that few years down the line, just like how you say, you Google it, uh, all of you will say, hey, if you have expenses, just file it, right? Uh, we've defined this problem in two ways. Uh, spender, a lot of people who have expenses and needs to submit and get their money back. Um, for them, the problem is obvious, right? It's too much work. Uh, from a finance and administration point of view, the problem is multiplied in the company. Half of the time, people are chasing people to submit bills on time. What they don't realize is because it is cumbersome, people don't submit bills on time. And that really is the problem. Uh, we extract data automatically from all kinds of receipts, uh, electronic receipts, paper receipts, make sense of that receipts, process that in real time, make sure that it's checked for policies, compliance, and fraud within the company. Uh, it's integrated with different systems within the company, which is HR, travel, accounting, ERP systems. And finally, because you get accurate data, uh, you also have the ability to slice and dice this information, right? So case of Yes Bank's, uh, you know, uh, the POC that we did, uh, the problem was really identified by the company, right? Which is they wanted to build a better system for employees, better experience for employees, and uh, this was largely because of increased manual activity that employees have to do, which takes away from other important work for them. Um, the mandate was to embrace digital transformation. Uh, the mandate was also to provide a system that's available for people on the go. They don't need to have to come to office to actually do something, right? So, and the last part was, uh, you know, to reduce the amount of manual verification that happens uh, and also to claim 
valid GST input credits, which the company was not claiming as a result of manual activity, right? So that was the mandate. So while the consumer loan demand continues to grow across all the verticals, banks and fintechs today are facing a large time-consuming problem. And the problem is to analyze data, financial data at scale. You know, this data looks like bank statements, financial statements, or even mobile data. So Finbit.io's advanced credit analytics platform captures this data in all formats, uses advanced computational techniques like machine learning, uh, and analyzes this data to come up with user-friendly credit uh, reporting as well as decisioning, which automates uh, the entire process for banks and fintechs. The Yes Fintech Accelerator is part of Yes Bank's Future Now strategy. The demo showcase aims to highlight futuristic innovations that can shape daily lives. I think Demo Day um, is where everything culminates. You know, this is where all the innovation, all the great work that we have done with Yes Bank culminates. It's an opportunity to show what we have done. Uh, how we have been innovating to change India's financial data future on this platform today. The 15 weeks was understanding the core processes of the, you know, of the bank and building a product that addresses those requirements. The demo day gives us visibility into what we've built uh, in those 15 weeks to an audience that comes from, let's say, an investor community or potential prospects. Demo day will obviously um, help us to reach out our message to a very large audience. Uh, um, the, um, the also that fact that we have uh, successfully completed the POC, uh, we also look for uh, you know commercialization with Yes Bank, and once uh, that happens, then uh, obviously we ca it becomes a calling card for us. Uh, uh, right now we have uh, enough money because we raise money from European investors, but uh, we hope to find a uh, new partners and uh, customers uh, here during this uh, demo day. We met with different mentors, both for business and for, for finance uh, institutions, to learn more about that and help us shape our proposal. Uh, yes, FinTech has helped us uh, scale up tremendously, both from the perspective of understanding the core uh, potential of how the entire intelligence that we have built in can be leveraged upon by understanding the minutest problems that the banks face today. Demo Day is kind of a very important part of the overall accelerator program because you know all the work that you did right from selecting the startups and curating and bringing those 10 in the program and you know making sure that the bank is able to sort of you know uh, integrate the technology and look at it from a compliance regulatory perspective. Once all of that work is done, uh, it is also important to show that work to everybody. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.